Welcome back guys, David Harris here, Allstate Mobile Wash, softwashfactory.com. So today we're going to be checking out our pump and just addressing some leaks. It looks like we got a leak right here and up here. Um, see what see what's going on here. Also, I think we're going to put a three-way on this and no, not an electric one or anything fancy, just a, um, let me go grab it. See what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be adding on this three-way thing here. This is just a dust cap at the end. There's another male cam lock right there. This thing's threaded in. Probably put it in like that so I can always have my water on it and a bleach line of one of the tanks. So I can just be like boom, boom, instead of taking these off like this and popping them off all the time, dripping bleach everywhere. I mean, yeah, the restrictors are like that, but still. So I'm gonna check that out, see what's going down, right? Also, I'm gonna open up this line here. That's in my head. Open up the line, so I don't get sprayed with a bunch of water. And I'm gonna unplug it right there. Yeah, it's looking like it's leaking up here. Let's see if we can just tighten it. And then we'll rethread it. Yeah, it needs to be tighter. And for over here. Yeah, this one here, I think I can just tighten with the tape I already have. I'll unscrew this, I can turn this over. The, that, I don't think that's leaking. That's tight. It's still gonna leak though. I'm gonna put some more tape on this one here. Be right back. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'll do eleven wraps on this one here. Um, on the half inch fittings, like this one here, we do like eight wraps, six to eight, depending on situation and whatever. It. Those aren't even the pliers. There we go. So I want to make sure this one here is actually really tight when we do it. And then we're going to grab a rag, clean up this pump here, make sure there is no more leaks anymore. I don't know if this is just from taking it off, but I don't really take this off uh, up here because this is what goes to the reel. So. Definitely want to uh, make sure this is nicely taped and clean. And I'm thinking that this here needs to be replaced with, yeah, I mean, you see it's a little bit of leak in there. I think we need to take that out, put a new stainless steel one in there. Um, that is stainless. Yeah, I don't know. Just uh, probably put some thread locker on it, honestly, because this is too thick, too wide for that. Probably put some medium thread locker on it. And yeah. I don't know. There is some right here. To clean that out. See what's going on here. Alright, be right back. Alright, so we're going to take this fitting off as well. And we're going to be adding on that 90. So loosen that up. That out of the way. We can just take our pliers here. Or take something cleaner like this. And so then it just turns and the uh, hose does not turn with it. So if you ever have to repair it or repair a different style pump, just do that. Uh, there you go. Hmm. I guess I'll just put new, I don't know. Yeah, just redo it. Things a mess. Must have been leaking before. Ooh. 
you guys. Yeah, so this is definitely the advantage of having the stainless fittings. Like I say, I like those uh, barbs that are the plastic, the poly uh, banjo ones we use. I don't know, they're both good. I just feel like when you use the bleach in it with these style hoses, these clear poly braided hoses, they just get all slippery and start spitting on you and loosen up. So we don't mind using them with the soft wash hose, that yellow hose we use works fine. That fitting looks good. Just tape that thing up. Probably put 11 on there. Ten, 11. All right, guys, so we got the elbow here that we're going to be putting on right here, all the way down to here. And we'll take this, we'll cut our hose to length, screw this back in, and we'll go test it out for our pressure. We cleaned up this board good enough. Uh, I can get it done a little bit better, put some roof mix on it, but I'm not too worried. Uh, actually, the only other thing I have to do, I think, is this bolt here. But I'm just going to see how it works first, and then we'll take a look at that. <clears throat> Put that right there. Hmm, yeah, good enough for me. Crank that on. Make sure these things are nice and tight still. And this one is not. Uh. Yeah, you can see that that one was leaking a little bit. Uh, now if the stuff's leaking, guys, you get the wrong percentage and all sorts of stuff goes wrong. All right, let's get this pump back in there. Uh, probably grab an extension cord so it's not as loud. So I can talk to you. Let's see. Now keep our cord out here for the test. And... This is my water line here. I got another manifold being made. I like these ones because they were short, but I got another one so these are spaced out more. And you can put the Ashai valves, any valves next, just right next to each other. There's only gonna be two of them though, because that's all we use for people that want a soap thing, but I only sell the soap if you're getting the Ashai valves because it does change the percentage of the mix. When you do that, if you put a restrictor in there and then you start adding in other things, you're just gonna end up with a lot of trouble. Here's a good one right here, I'm putting the bottom of this pump. That'll be perfect. Got a nice O-ring, put some thread locker on there, be perfect. Now let me grab my extension cord and we'll see if we still get the same pressure and make sure we don't have any leaks coming out of this. All right, guys, I got our extension cord plugged into my house. That's all you need for these pumps here. I'm not gonna use the switch, like the little remote. I'm just gonna use this switch here. Let's turn this thing on. It's definitely got some air in it. Yep, priming up. Oh, yeah. All right, we're at about 75. Let's kick the air out of this thing here. You hear all that? This is all just water. Yeah, we're still at 60 PSI, guys. And there's air in this line, too. I don't know, maybe not too much. Let's turn it off. And... Ooh, maybe... It... I don't know. One thing I do need to do, though... Let's go right there.
There's all that air. And I just wanted to clean that off. I can see if there's any leaks. How's it look at? Let's see. Yeah, that looks clean over there. And we're on the trigger right now, hitting 65 PSI. Oh, probably because we're in a mist. Sorry. All right, here we go. 60 PSI. You don't really want to let the pump run like this. Um, you can for a couple minutes, but don't let it you have it really. All right, so yeah, we're cranking up, guys. Huh. Wow. Well, you do lose a little bit of PSI. I don't know guys, you're gonna have to do a distance test on this thing. Yeah, I think we lost like two PSI. No, that's nothing. I don't think we even lost anything. I think we gotta get all this arrow. Yeah, well look at that like 60 guys. That's where we were always at when we were on um this fan or on the Oh actually this one here was 70, I think. Let's see. That's how you get that one on. This little fan spray. Ooh, it did go down a little bit, huh? We'll get 68. Wow. Yeah. So guys, elbows do matter, I guess, huh? The test is done. I don't know if we're gonna use them. Hmm. See how much it goes down.